sometimes you sit in the kitchen and you get to hear from your child this innocent question. Mommy or daddy, where the baby comes from? And similar question was asked at speaker's corner to Islamic Dawatim to hear the explanation from Allah. Where does baby come from? The reason question is been asked because according to the eternal word of Allah, Surah 86 verse 5 to 8, actually semen comes from your, uh, from your backbones and your ribs. That's going to make the baby. That's going to make the baby. So let me read the verse for us. And please do read it me as it's on the screen. So let man consider from what he's created. He's, he's created from a gushing fluid that issued from between the loins and the ribs. Surely is able to bring him back. And this simple question, which usually get you get to hear from um, children, well, this innocent, innocent question was asked to Islamic Dawatim on Sunday. Even though we do acknowledge Quran is well detailed, well explained, sometimes it's helpful to get proper answer to this innocent question from Islamic Dawatim. Let's hear how did Islamic Dawatim explains where this semen comes from is it from the backbones and uh, ribs or is it somewhere much 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 down let's hear allah's communication skills as well as something from islamic dawatim verse number one talks about the characteristics of the gushing fluid and what it does yes it creates human beings correct verse following talks about another argument that emanates from no correct if you allow me to no no we have a conversation no i'm explaining you listen because i've understood your question where does that now, come from the second statement i am saying it refers to the human being not to the gushing no, fluid no, no, that's a no, that's a, no, that no that's a lie he's lying to you that's a lie you're just making he's um, lying to you guys to key again. allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says now, sperm listen. the actual sperm comes from the back from the ribs once we finish this we are going to return to the question of rationality of your belief over all other no, religions first, first and no, your, your belief has already been proven to be listen. rational yeah yeah no, no. Now, hear me up now verses later it says for the God surely is able to bring him back. Says so the same him. Life. Excuse me, brothers. Tonight, Jazakallah khairan. Be patient. One verse, one person, one voice. Right? Just one let me can. be your representative. I know what I'm doing. I've demanded those people a long time ago. You, have it. you can do it again. You've been destroyed already. Now here, be for a year now here it says he will bring. Back again, God is able to bring them back to life, right? Move to a different verse. This, yeah, move to a different now verse listen, this, the verse, bro. these verses has nouns and pronouns okay. and a verb with a hidden noun. When I said hidden noun, ah, so we have oh, okay, so it's not clear. Ah, so the Quran is not clear. Oh, so the Quran is not clear. Even though Allah says clear and comprehensive. Do you know what it is? Sorry? This is something about what? Hoochie? What's about Hoochie? He doesn't speak Arabic. Bro, do I speak Arabic? He doesn't speak Arabic. So I'm going to give you some lesson now for you to understand. Because you're dealing with the Arabic Quran, not the translation. Bro, the translation is all for Arabic people. It's not even in the box. He's saying, no, listen to what Hoochie They're dancing around the question. Get to the question. You're dancing around the question. Stop dancing. Stop dancing. Stop dancing. Is a verb. Which says, proceeding from, within this verb, it has what we call Damir Mustata. It means there is a pronoun already embedded within this verse. Like when I say, a hidden pronoun, I'm pronoun. going to give you some grammar lessons now. Right? How should hidden pronoun? Ah, so a lot hides things in the Quran. No, and he says people like him to explain the verse. In language. Ah, so Allah says people like him to explain the verse. In language, okay. when you say, the door is open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He needs to explain the verse to me because Allah can't explain it to me. Ah, okay. You need to put the word work out. You need to explain it. Ah, okay, okay, okay. No, I'm afraid that. When we say the door is open, within that verb open, 
Is there someone opening? Stick to the verse. 86 7. How does how does that make rational sense, man? How does your God say claim that the sperm comes from the back of the reef? How does that make rational sense? Answer that. I'm just gonna see why you say it's about your God. He can't comprehend anything for me. He needs you to explain it. He needs you to explain his own words. It's kind of stupid, isn't it? It's for you to listen. I am saying the verb here refers to the man. The man. It is not referring to the gushing fluid. If you were to ask any Christian Arab, they will say, Yahruju can, this verb, refer to a noun that is mentioned immediately or even a little bit before that. Go and bring your Christian experts who know Arabic and get some education from them. Well, they, they will disagree. Like Christian Pitts agrees that the sperm literally comes from the back and that's what your God says. And, and you, you still haven't explained that. Christian yeah. Prince Delia. If you believe he's a liar, it doesn't matter. He's no, no, no. Arabic. He's it, Arabic. He's, I'm not Arabic. He's Arabic. He speaks Arabic. He speaks Arabic. Do you think he's a liar? Do I think it's no? I wouldn't think it's a lie at all. Have you it's seen the 101 lies or more lies about his lies on the internet? On is that, is, that, is that a Muslim? Is that a Muslim YouTuber? No, 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 Is it a Muslim YouTuber who said that? Is it a Muslim YouTuber? Who and put that what is was a Muslim YouTuber? What does it mean? Muslim no, 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 no. What, what it means is that 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 YouTuber has a voice. To protect his Quran, and if it was a and, Christian, and he'll do it, it's not have us. by any means, like make up good good information, like your hadith said. Why don't you go and listen to what this channel has exposed this lies of Christian prince? Be a man enough to uh, listen bro, to. Bro, why don't you now. watch David Wood? Like, watch David Wood. Watch Sam Shamoon. They both exposed Islam a thousand times. Sorry, well, yes, we wish, we wish. Now, again here. Okay. So here. Okay. Let, let, this let, 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 let me finish it off now. Talk about. Let me finish it off the now. The human being. The human yeah. being. They are emanating from the human okay. during birth. Do you know where the baby comes out from? In between the ribs and the backbone. This is where baby comes from. say anything about a baby. Okay. It talks about let man think where he's coming from. Man, man. Okay. Let, let man. JC respond anyway. Okay. One, 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 one last one. One last one. I think so, I'll let you have the room. So basically, before I move on okay. to you, as you have realized, you are basically. Contextually, I have given you an explanation and some free Arabic lessons to you, demonstrating that the Quran here not only has no scientific errors, not only has any irrational statement in there, but it's actually pretty amazing when it talks about the self-propelling nature of this flu. Sometimes it can be difficult to follow up those conversations. But in summary, um, Islamic Dawa team explains the well-detailed, well-explained word of Allah, simply saying, actually, it is verse is not talking about sperm. It is talking about where the baby comes from. Baby comes from your backbones, between your backbones and your ribs. But those of us, sometimes, of course, um, we want to visualize things. We want to see and then kind of put them together in here as you can see on the screen in one side i have a man and his back where you can see his backbones and his ribs and then on the other side i have man which pretty much gray and we pointing his private parts so uh one-to-one -one biology is when the innocent child asks this question daddy how does baby uh, put together so the quick answer would be it comes from the man's private parts. When man, mommy and daddy have sex, baby happens. But according to Allah, actually, no. The, that liquid comes from your backbones and your ribs. Islamic Dawatim simply encouraged us to go and check with Arabic, um, Arabic speaking Christians and on the line I do have daughter of Christ with us. She is Arabic speaker. Peace of Christ be with you, sister. Peace of Christ be with you, sister. Um, I think you just watched this video. Can you just simply tell me what is happening? Because um, Islamic Dawatim encouraged us to speak and then get the proper answer from Arabic speakers. Uh, so what I heard was um, 
talking about Surah 86, verses uh, 5 to uh, 8. I'll read it in the Arabic. It says, فَلْيَنْظُرِ الْإِنسَانُ مِمَّا خُلَقْ Let man observe from what he was created. خُلِقَ مِنْ مَا إِنْ He was created from a fluid, ejected, gushing fluid. The word is dafiq, which means uh, uh, gushing. مَا is the fluid, uh, and it's a masculine, a masculine noun. Verse 7. يَخْرُجُوا مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ Emerging from between the backbone and the ribs. This is exactly what it says in the Arabic, exactly what it says in the English. يَخْرُجُوا here is the verb to emanate or to leave, to come out of. And it's a, a referring to a masculine noun. As he said, yes, it does refer to a noun immediately before, and that is the fluid in verse 6. You see the translation, there's a comma, created from a fluid ejected, comma, and then it describes the fluid emerging from between the backbone and the ribs, coming out of between the backbone and the ribs. Verse 8, indeed he is able to return him back to life. This verse is still talking to the man. Uh, remember in verse 5, he was asking him to observe from what he was created. And the two verses were telling him he was created from a fluid coming out from between the backbone, which is the word is sulb, and the ribs is a taraib. That's it, sister. So am I un right to understand the verse is speaking about sperm is going to come from the backbones and the ribs? Yes, yeah, so uh, he was talking about self-propelling and all that. The word simply is gushing fluid. Any 7th century Arab Bedouin can tell you that the fluid that makes babies gushes. No such thing as self-propelling and all that. And then it talks about where the fluid comes from, the backbone, solb, and taraib, the ribs. Here is, this is the, what you've got on the screen is the lexicon for the word gushing. It simply means water poured forth. Water poured forth, or fluid emerging or pouring forth. That's all it means. Um, he also mentions some dictionaries uh, that we need to go to for the words for ribs. He said, uh, go to al Majam al-Wasit and go to the Sanal Arab, which is what we've gone, gone, gone to. And I, I've translated what they say about the ribs, at taraib They are simply the bones in the chest, adam al-Sadr, bones in the chest. And everybody knows the bones in the chest are the ribs. Nothing, nothing to do with a baby making has anything to do with the ribs. The ribs are in the upper part of the body. Whether you're talking about the man's part or the woman's part in making a baby, the ribs are nowhere near the baby making machinery, which is in the lower part of the body system. He mentioned that it's talking about the man coming out during birth. The baby during birth comes from out from the womb, through the birth canal, through the lady's private parts, nowhere near her ribs. The ribs are in the upper part of her body. So even if we go by his alternate, very strange explanation, the baby is not does not come out during birth from anywhere near the ribs. I'm not sure if he's never seen a birth or never heard of a birth or never even seen a pregnant lady give uh, she holds that baby very low in her body, in her womb. Go on. Um, thank you very much, daughter of Christ. I think he has seen a pregnant woman and probably he has seen a birth because he has children. So let me just summarize. Let me just summarize. Surah 86 verse 5 to 8 is talking about sperm, which is going to make the baby, comes from your Let's just visualize this. Let's just visualize this. Comes from your backbones and your ribs. This part. Okay? Apparently, this is producing sperm. And, of course, it doesn't stop that. Um, he denies, he denies um, communication skill of Allah. He says, no, actually, that's where the baby comes from. When you see the pregnant woman, all you simply see what baby comes from here. And then this baby will come out from woman's private part. Not from here. No one carries the baby for nine months something in here. It's not only, it's not only our dear Islamic Dawah team. 
tries to help out Allah with Allah's one-to-one -one biology. Simply also tells us actually, yep, Muslims needs little bit more Arabic lessons. And I'm not sure if Daughter of Christ is available to give them some free Arabic lessons as apparently Dawatim at Speakers Corner is spreading around free Arabic lessons. Also, they need to help Allah out with his communication skills. Daughter of Christ, would you consider to give some Arabic lessons to our Arabic as well as biology since you've got science background? Would you be considering to give free one-to-one -one biology and also Arabic lessons to Dawa teams of Speakers Corner? Sure, and I would encourage them not to speak about Arabic. Uh, I, I don't think Mansour knows Arabic. He's not an Arab. Uh, I don't know where they get the qualifications to speak about a language. To, uh, I would never try to and school a native Japanese person about Japanese. So why, where, where do they get the qualifications about Arabic to and ask, ask us to bring Arabs when they're not themselves are not Arabs? I would ask them to humble themselves. To learn, I'm happy to give the free lessons, uh, to learn from a native. If they're not sure, the, plenty of their Arab scholars have translated the Quran. Go with, go with the, that knowledge. Go to Muhammad, go to Ibn Abbas, go to these big scholars um, who are w way more knowledgeable in, and native in the language. Humble yourself and try not to uh, give alternate explanations and philosophize because you just look you make yourself look silly now everybody thinks that he thinks the baby comes from um, the ribs during birth that is um, <laughs> you've just made things worse uh, don't philosophize humble yourself and learn and I'm happy to give lessons thank you um, yes surah 86 verse 5 to 8 simply talks about sperms are coming from the backbones and the ribs. And one-to-one -one biology, baby takes, pla takes its place in the womb. It is much, much, much down from the backbones and from the ribs and comes out from woman's private part. I am afraid once again, Allah failed with his communication skill as well as Muslims or Islamic Dawatim once again taught they could simply deceive individuals. God bless you all.